Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. So I picked up this little kit on Timu. Um, it's just basically a little envelope filled with all kinds of pages in it so that you can make other projects. Inside here, there's, um, it's called Stars and Snowflakes. Again, it's from Timu. And they do provide you with some twine and some various sizes of paper in here to play with in your crafting. Um, there's all also uh, full size images like that and like this right and that one that's so cute you can make postcards with them or even holiday cards so this is my little contribution to the Christmas in July theme and um, you can do this really simply with your grandkids maybe this weekend and then it gives you an opportunity to explain to them why we're doing this for Christmas in July. Um, it's just basically getting a jump start on your Christmas decorations and um, for us crafters we have to start this early if we participate in craft fairs or um, selling of our projects. So yeah there's all these cute little images in here again it's called stars and snowflakes so that's what it looks like there's also stickers in here cute border stickers cute animal stickers um, those will look really cute on tags or gifts and there's also tag shape stickers as well so these are four other stickers that you can separate I believe there's four individual stickers here right and um, there's also little pockets and um, what else there's pockets and tuck spots that you can cut out and make into you know your own there's a little pocket right there here's an envelope that you can cut out and um, here this looks like a little seed packet or a you know an insert from the top pocket and this right here is another interesting little cutout so all of this came in this in this package I want to say I probably paid about two to three dollars for it it has a lot of stuff in here as I just explained to you guys all sorts of stickers even sentiments this is in a different language altogether so yeah all sorts of stickers in here that you can uh, definitely use in your crafting or scrapbooking so what I'm going to do today is make a little um, mini notebook or mini journal ornament so that you can hang it on your Christmas tree write little notes in it I mean it's gonna be super cute in here I found these very very flimsy paperweight um, images cut down already into the size that they currently are and I'll give you the the measurements for that but this project right here requires no measuring if you do not want to so when it's open <laughs> my, <laughs> my my um, craft mat is upside down guys <laughs> so so when it's open it measures four inches by um, <laughs> I can't believe I put my craft mat upside down. Uh, four inches by two and three quarters. And when it's folded in half, of course, you can just do the, the math to that. It's folded in half. It measures two inches by two and three quarters. Okay, so that's what we're going to make today. These are already um, book form. So, like, you can see that it's inked here in the middle. So... That's what gave me the idea to fold this in half and make a little mini journal. So I have one already done. This is my prototype. It's actually drying because I did use stickles. So I have my stickles here and my liquid liquid pearls. So yeah, I did use some stickles and liquid pearls on my prototype. And it's just a matter of letting it dry. And then you can fold it in half. And here's the little loop that it will hang from your tree again you can put little notes in here you know just about anything it's just a little mini journal that we've turned into an ornament by adding some ribbon up here at the top all right so let's just go ahead and make one of these I'm gonna put this back to dry so I don't smudge my stickles 
and um, my liquid pearls so it's really simple guys again I gave you the measurements to this pretty paper that's already um, you know decorated you can go in and add some more liquid pearls or stickles if you like okay so I have here my golds and silvers and uh, some more silvers um, but what I want to do first is find my paper that I want to stuff the journal with so this is just some plain resume paper I believe I had a notebook what I do with it so this was a pack a notebook um, like I made some notebooks last year for Christmas in July and um, took them to a craft fair and this was just some pages left over from some of those notebooks that I made and I just cut it down to fit this paper right so I just basically placed my page on a full sheet and then just marked it and cut it so here I'll just do one right now just to show you guys like there's really no measuring and in, oops involved and I'll tell you why it's because I cannot find my ruler right now <laughs> so that solves that problem and I know it's somewhere right here in front of my face it's just that when you're crafting in a small space it makes everything that much more difficult to find so yeah I just marked this to fit the book and now we have ourselves a couple of pages here so let's just go ahead and cut this down right right about there so now we have four pages that we can use in this little mini journal you just fold it in half and now you have four sheets or two sheets and four pages right so that's basically how I did all of these and all of these and the ones that's in the prototype all right so next I want to pick my image page fold it in half and it's already predetermined which one is the front and the back I like the owl on the front anyway so and here's one that says winter with a little lantern kind of like the, the fox better but it's okay and here's one with a little muskrat in the corner here on on top of uh, or in a tree over a house and here's looks like a bird flying in on top of this house okay so there's that um, next you want to beef up this flimsy paper in order for your ribbon to be able to um, you know hang from a tree so with this this flimsy paper I went ahead and took some plain white cardstock this is my eight and a half by eleven sheet of cardstock um, I'm calling it cardstock it's actually photo paper that I had from many many years ago I'm finally down to like maybe my last 50 sheets or so and I did the exact same thing I just took my page measured it accordingly to the image paper and then just cut it out right so simple so I did that to a few of these sheets and I'll be using them to beef up this paper with the image on it and I want my matte side because I have a glossy side and a matte side I want my matte side to be facing out so I'm going to put glue on the glossy side and I'm just going to fold this in half make sure that my outer image paper fits it and if it doesn't now would be the time to adjust right so I cut it um, with just a pencil marking but if it doesn't quite fit now would be a good time to adjust it so I'm just going to pencil mark it again okay and with this I can use my scissor or you can use your guillotine it doesn't matter but it's a smaller sheet now so I can just scissor cut this you want this this inner page or the cardstock page to be just slightly smaller than your outer page right and that's just normally how everything works in a journal when you put your 
your papers in everything is going to be smaller as it gets closer and closer to the center so again we'll be re-measuring and cutting these according to this once we're done so I see I missed the spot so I'm just going to straighten that up and not cut my outer page okay so there's that and I'm just using my craft bond glue I'm going to open up my two pages I'm just going to um, separate the inner from the outer add some craft bond glue and I just did that wrong I told you I wanted my um, outside to be matte and the inside to be glossy so let me grab another card and fold it the right way this time let's just fix that and I'll cut a new one for this other book I'm just gonna snip away some of the excess paper that's hanging off the edge here and now we'll glue <laughs> I'm using my craft bond glue uh, liquid glue and I'm just gluing the the inside section here and I also have my pre-cut ribbon this piece is a little long so I'm just gonna snip off a little piece of it and we're going to start assembling you want to make sure that you got your pages right side up and I'm just going to pop this right in here just like so add some more glue near the top and then put in my little whoops put in my little ribbon right about there okay and with wet glue it gives you enough time to move things around slide things into place and make sure you get everything right where you want it now this is the part where you want to if you want round your corners so I'm just going to medium around these corners here and okay so there's that and um, and then I'm gonna round the other corner before putting in this other side of the ribbon I completely forgot I had a problem with it on the prototype but it worked out um, it's just that one side would not round and I'm guessing that's what I was going to run into right there as well all right so I rounded my corners I'm now going to add glue to the back side of um, this page you don't need a lot of glue I think I'm overdoing it just a little bit but I'm definitely going to pop in my ribbon right back here and this is the part where you want to make sure that your ribbons um, both sides line up so again a wet glue is your best bet in this project gives you time to move things around and line things up appropriately all right so here we have ourselves a little book <laughs> so cute um, I'm just adding these pages in with a staple if you want to do a three hole pamphlet stitch go right ahead it does not um, it doesn't change one thing if you want to do a three hole pamphlet stitch right along the spine here it can be done I'm not doing it I'm just gonna go ahead and staple mine with a single stapler and I'm rounding the corners of my pages to match the cover and I pre-measured my pages to make sure that they all line up and they do and I'm just going to flip it over and pop a little staple right in here now if your pages did not line up now would be the time to check it and then use your craft knife to cut away any of the excess paper that didn't line up and I I'm going to use my bone folder to flatten those little staple prongs and it's that simple guys now you have yourself 
a little book. Oh, so cute. So stinking cute. There's eight pages in here. And, um, yeah, eight, eight pages or eight um, sheets of paper in here that you can write on. So it's really one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then eight more on the back. So 16 sides of pages that you can write on. If your edges did not get glue, be a perfect time to add some to the edges of your paper and then I'll just squeeze out the excess if you want to ink these feel free I'm not going to ink mine I'm just going to use my stickles and this time I'm using gold I'm just going to pop a couple stickles right in the owl's eye oh, so cute and there you have it. This is your own little mini ornament junk journal that you can hang from your Christmas tree. All right, we can do another one. It's the same steps, same process. I'm gonna round my corners first this time. And uh, I'm gonna grab another one of these cards, fold it in half. And line it up inside the book cover make sure that everything is nice and even where you want it if it's not now is the time to cut it away without cutting your outside image and then you can round these corners as well it's pretty much what I should have done in the first place all right so I'm gonna bone fold this down make sure it's nice and tight in that corner right there and now I see that the bottom is also just slightly too long so I'm just gonna snip that off and add my glue to one side this glue does not spread very well but it does hold very well so I'm just going to eyeball how long I want my ribbon to be considering part of it needs to get tucked down into the book jacket and I'm going to pop this right in here nice and even lining up my rounded corners again So simple right guys I think you can totally do this in a weekend with either your kids or your grandkids and um, just spend some time making some little cute little mini journal ornaments for Christmas time and I'm just gonna stretch that over and pop in my other side of the ribbon Clean up any excess glue that oozed out. Make sure my corners has enough glue. And then get my pages ready. So I have here another four sheets of paper, which will then become eight sheets when you fold it over. And 16 total writing spaces. And I'm just going to round my corners again might be a little bit more difficult with all four sheets but um, if you want you can check to make sure that everything lines up before you before you um, punch them but this is basically how simple it is to do and tuck my pages in again everything wants to push out this way so sometimes you might just have to adjust yeah you might just have to adjust your pages to make sure that they are all in alignment with each other 
so there's that and then I'm just gonna pop a little staple right in here line up my pages everything's even everybody's happy and staple Ugh, my staple didn't go through that time I think I'm missing my little foamy mat and I have it I just haven't pulled it out yet but um yeah I'm missing my little piece of foam that I can staple through so there nope that didn't do it okay oh that time it did do it I don't understand what's going on here guys <laughs> my stapler has a mind of its own it's doing its own thing all right so now I'm just gonna close these prongs with my um, bone folder and now we have ourselves another little cute ornament oh my god this is so cute so again if you want to decorate even further you can I think I went overboard with the with the prototype but I'm just gonna put a couple of liquid pearls along the roof line of this house and then maybe I'll put just a couple of little gold speckles in the eyes of that little I don't know if that's a possum a muskrat or a kitten in the tree <laughs> um, I'll put a little gold here in the lights of the home and that's it I'm gonna let that sit and dry all right guys I'm gonna leave you right here I have one more to do which is my little fox and the lantern I'm gonna do this one um, separately which is no big deal same process right guys I'm going to fold in my page make sure everything lines up round the corners find my ribbon cut it to size and then start um, rounding the corners of all my pages and um, gluing everything together and um, yeah then you decorate it with your liquid pearls or if you have flat back pearls or you know whatever you have if you have crystals or you know Swarovski crystals or what have you it's really really simple to create all right guys I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Don't forget to check out my one link down below. It takes you to all my other links. It's linktree.com slash chronicles of a crafter. As well as leave me a comment and let me know which one of these are your favorite. Because I'm leaning towards the owl right now with his two little gold eyes. All right, I have to let these dry. Don't want to smudge them. But um, also, I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to the channel, sticking with me through all the crazy traveling and lack of videos, etc. And um, yeah, just giving these videos a thumbs up. I do appreciate each and every one of you again. So thank you. And I will definitely talk to you guys in the next video. Stay naturally curious, guys. Bye.